Landing pages are designed to guide visitors through the marketing funnel and convert them into leads and customers. They are simple call to action pages designed for a specific advertising campaign or a singular promotion. These are the pages that you are directed to when you click on an ad or a promotion. It's one of the best tools available for your Google AdWords or Facebook ad campaigns. So why should you use landing pages? Well, overall, they've got a conversion rate of 1 to 3%. According to HubSpot, companies that use at least 10 to 15 landing pages, as opposed to less than 10, usually see a 55% increase in sales leads. So we can safely assume a direct correlation between the number of landing pages and the number of conversion opportunities created. You also give your website an SEO boost when you create a landing page because every landing page you create is an opportunity for you to show up in search engines for a target keyword. A landing page is best utilized later in the sales funnel when a customer is moving towards the decision to buy. In exchange for your offering, the viewer gives you their email address or takes an action that you want. Landing pages are also easy to share on social media. So if you feel 140 characters might not be enough to tell people about your product, you can use a dedicated landing page link to show them exactly what's in store. If you're carrying out a limited time promotion, landing pages also provide an opportunity to introduce a web page with a short-term objective. This process is made even simpler with a Mailmunch drag and drop builder. So where do you draw the line between intrusion and conversion for most opt-in forms? You can have a highly converting form which is intrusive or you can have a comforting non-intrusive form but it may not convert too many visitors. And how do pop-ups compare against landing pages? The numbers state that pop-ups convert more than landing pages but are often seen as intrusive, whereas landing pages are user-friendly, built for a specific CTA, and are mostly non-intrusive because the visitor chose to be directed to the page. In general, it's good practice to use pop-ups earlier in your sales funnel and landing pages in the latter stages. So there you have it two extremely powerful tools at the ready to bring in heaps of new leads and achieving our goal here, which is supercharging your lead generation and giving your website a big boost of potential sales. I'll see you guys in the next one.